Okay, 2382, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score. Opponent, 230 games enough to establish a rating. Okay, it's somebody who's like much higher rate than I've ever been in this, so this will be a difficult game. But that's the fun of chess. So I'm probably going to do this and stick to the Reti principles, but actually, I'm in play that I can see this idea coming. Hmm. No, I'm going to just go e3 instead. Go a bit more conventional, just develop in this way and just castle. The Reti opening is basically you put the bishop on g2. I could still do that even in this structure, just watch out for my pawn. Still an option. Do I want to take there? I'm not sure I do. Actually, I'm going to develop the bishop. He might play the knight in and then we've got the option to trade or we can just castle straight away. I guess I'll pre-move in case he takes. I don't think he will. He doesn't. Hmm. Okay, let's see what he wants to do. we we'll probably drop the bishop back. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to drop my bishop back just to make sure I don't blunder the queen. I might end up wasting another move if he takes the pawn, but I'd be happy if he took the pawn now. Otherwise, we're just going to try and castle. So we've got that done now. <clears throat> so now we need a plan. Probably develop the pawn. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sound a little bit croaky there. It is springtime here, so it's allergy and hair fever season for me. Um, right, what do we want to do? We could potentially play a knight out wide and try and get the bishop off the board. If you trade, I can take back and protect my pawn. If you go back, I can take the bishop. So knight here is the candidate move I'm looking at. But is there any nasty discovery? Knight forward would be the two potential moves and I think I would simply take the bishop so here if you go back I think I'm going to play it actually I like the look of that move because even after I take back here there's no nasty knight jump where I can't just drop my knight back so I think the knight will come forward and I'll just drop my knight back it'll be attacked by the bishop he might just castle of course he could but my knight will be useless where it is now so it'll be coming back anywhere so he has indeed come forward to do that, so do we want to take here and allow this? My knight would then be trapped with nowhere to run, so we just rule it out straight away and drop our knight back. If I'd have taken and taken there, the knight then didn't have an option to jump anywhere. So how do we do this? I need to get this bishop into play, that's not easy to see how. If I do this, then it's a little bit weaker here. Hmm. I'm going to play knight back. Extra protection for the pawn. It's another potential threat to trade the knight here, maybe with queen up. If he takes here, I'm very happy to bring a pawn towards the centre. I'll see if he takes the pawn now, I'd actually take the knight, so he won't do that. So he has taken, so I think logically I should develop my bishop now. Now if he takes and takes, knight in is actually covered. Knight in immediately I could take, we might get coming forward. Hmm. So I just need to slightly better coordinate my pieces, I'm not quite sure how yet. I'm looking at rook across and leaving this one a bit defensive for now. It feels like the king side is where the action is going to be at. So I'm looking at this rook across and leave this here and possibly on the e file later in the game and then maybe try and put the bishop here at some point. Hmm. It could be a mistake though, I might be better going this way but it feels like I should move this rook. <coughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yeah apologies if I get a little bit croaky, I feel fine but I get very bad allergies and hair fever and that's the time of year that it's at the worst now. Okay, so he's gone across. I really want to play b3 to solidify the pawn structure, but then my knight becomes a little bit more of a target. I could play queen up. 
I could even potentially just push e4, but my pawn right now would fall. Or potentially would fall. Hmm. So I'm just looking at queen up, but we might even see c5. But how do I develop then? I'm just going to play a3 for now and look to maybe gain some space if he doesn't trade soon. c5 could come and we've got the option to maybe trade everything off. Yeah, he's countered our push immediately. No, there's no sort of discovery there to win a pawn. The queen guards it anywhere. I don't really like the idea of knight back. I could potentially push and encourage this. Hmm. Actually, yeah, c5's looking a bit more like a natural move now, isn't it? But <coughs> do I want to then go b4? That's what I'm looking at. c5 to go b4. We'll probably see the center break this way. But that doesn't feel too bad to me. But once he's pushed here, I don't really want him pushing on again. And I won't be, have the option to take here. And I don't really want to play f4 because of the knight. But if I do this, I've still got the problem this pawn becomes loose if he trades either way. So here, if you take, knight takes, queen takes... Maybe I do then actually have bishop takes, or maybe e4 is a move then. I'm going to play it, why not? I'm playing a stronger player, so I've not got really much to lose this game. It's the same for everybody at every level. When you're playing somebody who's high rated than you've ever been, you've got everything to gain and nothing to lose. So sometimes you take chances, but I'm trying to... I basically play the same style against everybody of every rating level as a principle. I think 2280 odd is the best I've achieved in Rapid, so my opponent's already 100 points above that and could be rising. But if takes, I think I can take here. If you take, I can take back. The pawn's a bit loose, but we do hit a pawn if we lose a pawn. Or depending on how it pans out. Same if you go this way, then I can take back and guard my pawn. But we could see the black pawns fly forward as well. It wouldn't surprise me, but black does nothing with threatening to push, so he has taken. So I'm going to quickly capture back and see if he does this. Now if he does, I think I take first and then take here. Mm, although, what's he found? He's found a move here. Hmm. So have I got a sensible takes, takes and bishop up? But then he's going to get the rook across c5 or queen up. I could play bishop up immediately, I guess. Um, yeah, I like the idea of bishop up immediately. See if I'm in time to bring a rook up and the other one across. See, I've pre-moved there in case he takes a knight. It's a different highlight around the square. I get the cursor off the board so there's no accidental slips. Well, we try to just play good principle chess as much as we can. Get the king safe, challenge for the centre, then worry about what to do. Hmm. I'm looking at knight takes now as well, with the bishop here, so I think I've got that option. Um, knight takes, bishop takes, queen across, and we have a double attack against the pawn. Now you could ignore it and push, and we can then start marching forward maybe, it could explode open there. There's a little bit of a target to come in here, I can't go there right now, I'll lose my knight. Rook across then maybe a move, or do I stick to the plan and try and double up, but that's, it's taking away squares from my queen. Hmm, I don't know. I could do this as well to fix the B pawn, if I, especially if I trade the knight. Yeah, I like the look of that actually. Um, take, take here to fix this pawn. I like the look of that. I'm going to play that. I'll do, I'll consider whether I can push this pawn as well. So can I just do this? No, I don't think I can. So I've got queen across a pawn up. I like the look of pawn up. It might be a mistake, but we're trying to fix this backward pawn. Then maybe rook up and across or double up or queen across. Just... Just gentle pressure on the pawn here. 
There's no serious threats to black just yet. Just gentle pressure if we can. Might not be able to, of course. He might even offer a queen trade, I doubt it, but he might. But the problem is this is now a backward pawn. But now I can go here and he's got two ways to guard it or he can just push it on. So do I want to fix the pawn before we can push it on a light square? I think I do actually, but then does he ignore it? Hmm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop him pushing the pawn and then try and target it. But my own pawn is going to be a big target. You can imagine if the rook gets like this and the queen behind, it might be just lost. So I've got to hope I've got some counterplay. Not easy. Rook up, queen across, rook behind. It's a similar kind of concept. But obviously we do have a potential threat. Queen across to attack the pawn. But right now, plenty of defences. Mm, he might be looking at blasting it open. He might do something like that. Let's just see. Worry about it when it's our move. He's played rook across, but does that now just give me queen over? If you take, and I take, <clears throat> you can push the pawn down. So if you take, and I take here, you take with a check, so that's no good. So that's what he might be lining up. Take, take, pawn down. But can I just simply step out of the way, allow takes, 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 takes. That feels alright. That might be what he's lining up. Pawn down. Mm, here, sorry, bishop takes and then pawn down. So here. I'm looking at rook up as well. I'm getting low on time now. I'm going to allow this, I think. I don't think I've got anything else, but I'm getting two on the clock and a minute down. So... I'm in real danger of losing this one in time now. The rook here might be better, but maybe I can do it with this one. But I think there's a risk of this, this, and pawn down. Oh, he's gone across, so he hasn't done that. Yeah, I'll quickly bring this rook across then and try and do something like this. Okay, he's gone there now. So is this a move? Takes, takes, he just takes, right? That's no good. Oh, Rook up actually walks into this. That's a slight problem I overlooked. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't want the Queen where it is. I'm going to bring the Queen back and try and come forward. Just a little bit concerned about this move. So I'm going to try and bring the Queen forward and hopefully double the Rooks up somewhere or other. I'm still that minute down on the clock here. Yeah, that's what he's going for now. Let's bring the rook up so we can come behind here. And again, we have to watch out for these ideas. I don't think I can play this, so I'm going here. But now this is still a move. But takes right now, my rook is double guarded. I've still got queen coming across potentially. Just for the same threat again, but I think this is a move. I wonder if I should do this and this, but that feels really bold, ripping my defences open. Is there anything else I can even try though? Is b4 just plain crazy? It feels it, doesn't it? I think b4 is just crazy. So here, down, I still can't take, you just take my rook. Oh, I've maybe got queen back then to create the same threat. No, it's still the same thing, isn't it? If I take, you can take my rook. Yeah, he's charged it now to blow it open. Then his queen attacks as well. If I ignore it, he's got this. I want to do this, but this is the move I'm fearing. But then maybe I just take here first. Hmm. It feels like I've gone wrong, doesn't it? I think I need to play this. That's the problem. I'm going to play here and line this up as a potential, because I think I'm just... I don't think I've got anything here. If he takes, I take... <clears throat> we open the file up, but my rook's guarded right now, I think, anyway. 
I'll pre-move in case he takes uh I've got to be prepared to move a little bit quicker. But I'm just lining up the potential for F4 to guard this, but I think it's a, maybe a little bit bold. It might not be a good move. Yeah, he's gone back. Now there's a lot of pressure on the pawn, so I'm just going to have to take. Okay, I'm going to drop back and pressure. I know it's double covered, so it's no immediate threat. What else can we do? Can we do this? I don't think so. I've not got a lot else I can actually do. I might have physically challenged getting forward. Hmm. It's not a lot I can do without taking really silly, crazy risks, but this is a bit of a problem. Oh, actually, have I just blundered that again? I'm allowing him c5. I can't take back because I lose the rook. So I'll have to bring the queen back forward. At least I've got the option to do that. But yeah, c5 is a move. Actually, c5 now I take. But he's lining up that same concept. So now I think my defences are overloaded. Hmm. So here or here. I might have to strike out here. I'm going to strike out because I think I've... My defences are collapsing here, so I'm going to strike out, but it's probably a mistake, but I'm going to do it. Now we can take here and hit the pawn, but it is guarded. Oh, it might actually not be too guarded. I was looking at this. That's what I wanted to play. I don't think it works. Pawn up, check, queen takes, 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 rook takes, and I lose. Well, that's unfortunate. I've blundered the game. We've blundered it. Can we go up here? Takes, takes. No, it doesn't work. Just one little mistake. I've got careless. Rook across you can take anyhow. My rook falls. What about rook up? No, it's the same principle. I've got to get out of the way and just allow him to take and just take the rook, I think. But I think I've just blundered the game. Queen up. <coughs> I'm sure I've just blundered it now. Oh, actually, I can't play queen up. I lose my bishop as well. Yeah, I've just collapsed my position. So queen here. Trade, trade, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes. There is a back rank. So where did I say I want to go? Take, take, take. There's nothing, is there? I'm looking at take. No, I have to get out of the way. Yeah, I've just lost this one, unfortunately. Couldn't see what to do, and I've just made some mistakes. It's unfortunate. But that's just chess. Bishop down is a bit of a problem, threatening um, mate in two as well. So bishop, actually, bishop down, I can take. You go here. Yeah, he's gone back. That's what I expected, but... Hmm. I don't see any good moves. I'm trying to push. Again, bishop down. I've got the same thing. I take the rook initially, I think. He's gone back. Let's push. If he takes, I think I take. I think I do. Oh, he got check. I blundered. I blundered it. I didn't do it. I'm trying to go a little bit defensive. Let's go here. <coughs> Oh, blood my bishop. I hung my bishop, didn't I? I actually hung my bishop. He's very low on time, I've just noticed. Actually, I didn't realise it was that low.
Gigs out of time, we've managed to win it. Wow. I was being outplayed, wasn't I? But that's a really good win. That's one of my best ever wins in Rapid by opponent's rating. Let's put it through the engine. You can see I've gone wrong. Let's just put it through and see what it says. Um, oh, it's already being done. So our opponent's putting it through the engine for us. So you can see I'm being outplayed, but I've managed to just quicken up that little bit more than my opponent. So got a good win, but yeah, you see, we're completely lost. We've just gone wrong. Hmm. So a little bit on the lucky side, but that's chess. But you see, yeah, we're just being outplayed essentially the whole game. So the accuracy figures, they normally go down when you're playing stronger players, when you're playing higher rated players. Same for everybody at every level of chess. So, hold on, what? Oh, is this the first blunder? No, there's blunders earlier. Yeah, b4 was a blunder. So we're essentially completely level until I threw the pawn forward with b4. Then I'm completely lost the rest of the game. So b4 was my mistake. I should have played h4, it's gone the other side of the board, just kept this solid. And I'm still fine. So we finished with 88%, 87% accuracy, couple of blunders each. But black from this point from B4 was essentially much better. Plus four better, it's come back nearly level. Plus four, plus five better near enough. And then right at the end, it's just come down the clock. So take a bit of good luck when it comes along. Very good.